Hey up, how we doing? Beer mail. Got a beer mail. Now, I got a message from a guy called Ollie Ra uh, Rawson. Ollie Rawson, if I'm saying that right. Sorry if I'm not. Um, but I'm a fan. He sent me a message saying he's a fan of the channel and uh, a fan of my brews and would he mind if he sent me some beer? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Who's ever going to turn down beer? I mean, no. Fan, I've got a fan, I'm a bit excited. <laughs> it's craziness. So, he sent me a beer. Now, Ollie, I spoke to him a few times on Messenger, seems a thoroughly nice chap. He's got a Facebook page. Now, I'm gonna have to be careful how I say this, because well, we all know, don't we, some channels you watch with your kids kicking about, don't you? Because you know, I, I, I don't swear generally in life very much, so I don't particularly do it on camera. Um, so I like to think that my channel is one of those channels that you can probably watch while your kid's eating tea and not worry about getting caught out. So, but his, his Facebook page is, you've got to say it carefully. Are you ready? He's, it's called Fur Fox Sake Brewery. <laughs> I hope I said that slow enough, not to. <laughs> so he sent me his festive IPA. Bless him, thank you. Uh, 4%, he's from Nottingham. Ingredients, pale malt, caramel, carapils. He's used pearl hops, cinnamon and nutmeg. And he's used Wednesday, Wednesday yeast. The, uh, he sent me a message saying that don't chill it for too long because it is bottle conditioned, but uh, it's, it's a carbonation problems, but it feels nice and tight. I, uh, I've had carbonation problems. We'll have a look. Again, I've only got one of these, so I'll say I'll make sure we're recording. We are. Thanks, Ollie. Appreciate it. Thanks for the support of the channel as well. Yeah, there's not a massive is there, but it's doing some of that. First one of the night, so let's see what happens. That's right. You see that? Look at that. Just rinse my glass out. It is clean. Lovely colour. Tan Ned. It does say it come out at four uh, percent. Now this is only the point of him sending me this. Um, he said he only done like six or seven brews. I've had a look on his Facebook page, there's some stuff on there. Probably leave a link to that if I can copy it, if I can figure that out. Well, he said it was on the card, but mine isn't, mine's all right. It's held in the head. He, uh, he grows his own ops, I've seen that on his uh, Facebook page. Apart from that, I don't know much about him, except for he seemed very nice. I said to him, get, get your uh, YouTube channel going. So he's, I think he might be doing that, so look out for that. Anyway, back to the beer. Dark, dark, it's dark. I don't know anything about his water treatment or anything like that. <coughs> cinnamon, definitely get some cinnamon, very festive. Except for I'm doing this after Christmas. <laughs> Sorry, but I've been terrible, I've just had some stuff on. Not getting lots off the nose, but it is uh, five degrees in here, four and a half. I haven't had it in the fridge, it doesn't need it, especially when he said. Def definitely uh, cinnamon -y, but I don't know how, it'd be interesting to see how he did this. Uh, it's definitely carbed enough for me. Lovely colour. Bottle conditioned, looks like it's Pretty much cleared out. I think I've managed to pour that without getting all the rubbish in it as well. It's, it's got a nice body on it, 4% beer. 
fruity-ish nutmeg. I don't exactly know what nutmeg tastes like. Not to have looked into that, didn't I? But there's definitely cinnamon. Nutmeg, I guess there's nutmeg in it as well. But it tastes a bit like ginger. Some ginger in there. Not overpowering, it's there. Come to smell it. But I can definitely taste it. And it's sort of sat at the back. That's really nice. It's really quite interesting. I don't know if I've ever had anything quite like that. Subtle. It's there enough. It's, I mean, you'd know it. But it's not overpowering. So my, the vanilla that I put, uh, put wasn't enough in my last one. And what did I put? I put something in, I put, I can't remember what I did now. It wasn't my marshmallow porter. Here's an extract. Can't remember, anyway, I can't, might, I'll put it up. If I can remember what it is, I will remember at some point. Um, but that was two miles too much, and this is just right. Nice one. Nice one, Ollie. That is, yeah, it's interesting and very nice. Right, what else have we got? Well, so I've had this beer a while, because I've had some stuff going on, but I've also still got my uh, competition win from uh, Tony at Yorkshire Homebrew. Um, he sent me an old grain kit. If you look back on the videos, uh, wreck the halls, and I haven't done that yet. Um, I don't want to seem ungrateful. I just haven't had, I haven't had time, and I've, I've had a dark, my dark beer tap. This old ale, incredible, absolutely blown me away. That as I love it, absolutely. Oh, I tell you, I, I don't know if I can live without it now. Beautiful. Um, but what you know, it's been such an odd year. Last year and coming into this year, personally, world-widely, work-wisely, um, I'm contemplating brewing this. I've got 40 dark brown swing top bottles, bottling it, and then doing the longest grain to glass ever. So brew it in the next few weeks and then do the taste test next Christmas. Because it's it's festival, it's festive, isn't it? It's you know, it's wreck the halls. It's festive. I sort of want to drink it at Christmas and I've missed out this year. I want it on the ball. And then probably at the start of the grain to glass, while I'm brewing it, talk about a bit what's happened this year. And then just as a bit of a memory thing. And then um do the taste test next Christmas and then talk about what's happened during the year and it'll be interesting to come back and just see where we are maybe I don't know see would you like to see that leave a comment below see what you think I think it's quite a good idea I quite like the idea of it I've got to be on obviously I'll try a few bottles during the year to make sure they're all right but I think that's quite a good idea I like I like that yeah I might do that anyway there you go. I'm going to go and enjoy this. As I said, look, I'm not. I'm not a great beer reviewer. I know what I like. I know what I don't like. It's clean. It's a nice mouthfeel for a four percent beer. He's got his got his cinnamon and nutmeg. Just right, I think. Never had beer with that in before, so I wouldn't really know. And yeah, it's tasty. There's no. It's nice and clean. There's no flavours. That head. Look at that head. Oh, that's hanging about. Lovely. I don't know what. What are you on about, mate? What are you on about? It's perfectly carbonated. Look at that head. It's beautiful. Lacing. Let's get professional, way. Look at that lacing. <laughs> right, anyway, that's 10 minutes. Thank you. Good luck with your brewing, Ollie. Really appreciate you supporting the channel and sending me beer. I'm following you. I'm following you on, uh, on Facebook. And I look forward to your channel coming out. I will be subscribing. See what's going on. I saw you did a bit of a video, didn't you, on this? We didn't say much, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Thanks, guys. Be back soon. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell.